In this video I'm going to show you how to apply for master's study in Norway or Norwegian universities. So first of all decide a master's program which you want to go for, then select a university, then find if that program of your interest is available in that university because uh, different universities offer uh, education and research in different areas, and then find procedure of application in that uh, specific university, and then find which documents are required to, to apply in that university and then prepare those documents and send application to the university. And now I will show you how to find uh, all of this information on the website of the university. So to find Norwegian universities you would have to go to our website or you can also find uh, different Norwegian universities from Google. So on our website if you go to study in Norway and uh, here we have mentioned some prominent universities uh, which are in Norway. And uh, then, uh, as an example, we take uh, Oslo University or University of Oslo. And uh, then, to to basically, you wanna you don't wanna go for research, you wanna go for studies. So, just click on studies, and then <coughs> click on masters, because basically, this, most of the bachelor's programs are delivered in Norwegian language. So, if you don't know Norwegian language, then better to complete bachelor's from your own country and then uh, come come for masters uh, in the Norway. So click on master's program and then you will find uh, a lot of programs over here like economics, education, health and information technology, history and, uh, and a lot of over here like religious studies. So then we, as an example, we take economics and uh, as you can see that uh, this is two years program of philosophy. So to to apply to to these programs, if you are uh, if you are from some other country, then you would be considered as an international applicant. So you, either you can click over here, or you can uh, click on a program. So we take this path, and then you can find more information on the program, like why to choose the program, what are the learning outcomes, what will you learn after completion of that program, and what is structure and uh, other information. And uh, this is two years program and. Uh, in Norway or in most of the European countries, um, two years master program contains 120 credit hours or credit points basically and then uh, you get uh, out of 120 credit points uh, you have 30 credit points for, for your thesis which is six months almost. And then you click on how to apply. So over here you find some basic information like uh, 1st of December is the deadline to apply for this program and if you are from from European countries like EU or EEA or uh, Switzerland. Then uh, deadline for you is uh, 15 of April and if you are from Nordic countries then deadline is 1st of June. So they have divided uh, different applicants in different uh, groups over here. And then you apply and then you find uh, like admission requirements over here which is bachelor's degree and then GPA and then specialization defined by the program and then and then uh, GP system if you have GP system in your uh, in your country and then most importantly or one of the most important thing is that uh, you if if you, if you don't have English language in your country then you need to pass uh, either TOEFL or IELTS which are two English uh, testing exams just to uh, Norwegian University just want to know that uh, you know English and do you 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 understand right and uh, you can uh, you can communicate in English so that is very important for them. So then you click on how to apply for master's degree program. Yeah, one, one more thing. So on back side, if you hold Norwegian ID, which is basically 11 digit code, so then you go to different uh, website and you can directly apply over here. But uh, if you are coming from, from some country like which is not, uh, in, in, I mean, if you have not been living in Norway, then you would not be having this code. So then better to go on this link. And then here you can find different requirements for different countries so if you open this link then you find different countries like uh, for Afghanistan you need uh, you need a secondary school certificate and then four years university education and then you uh, you need uh, English test passed basically that is TOEFL or IELTS and similarly for, for most of the countries uh, all of these requirements are written over here so like uh, for France, uh, there are different options, three years uh, education or three years uh, degree over there. And then in, in the last of this document, you are, you can exempt your TOEFL or IELTS if 
you have been studying in UK, USA, Canada, and uh, New Zealand, Australia, and Ireland. Uh, and then uh, if you have been studying in Nordic countries and uh, uh, what else is here, students who have completed basic degree in English language of instruction in one of the Nordic countries, okay. Uh, or if you have been studying in your bachelor's, if you have been studying English language or English literature, you, can, you don't need TOEFL or uh, Similarly, the, there are also other exemptions, so you should consider these and it is good if you can avoid uh, to take TOEFL or So. And then you look for application deadlines, which I have already mentioned, 1st of December and 15th of April, and then you go for application process. If you are if you are from uh, European countries, then definitely these are the uh, these are the requirements for you. But currently, I'm considering that uh, currently I'm considering a general procedure, which, which can be applied on the European degree. European applicants or uh, applicants from Asian countries or American or Australia or whatever. So application procedure. So over here you see they have uh, they have shown with different icons that uh, how do you proceed with whole application procedure or whole application process. So check if uh, you are really eligible by on, on this link and then you submit your online application between 1st of October and 1st of December and then you submit supporting documents and we, we just have a look on the, on the support of the supporting documents. So this is complete uh, complete uh, timeline that uh, what you do at what time and uh, at the end uh, 30th of April you, fi you find the decision that uh, if you have been admitted or not. So submit all of the supporting documents. So what are the documents? Uh, there is a attestation form that would be I think available online and then you need uh, your photographs, your passport and then uh, I think uh, English language uh, proficiency, some certificates and then you need uh, documentation of financing because in Norway uh, study is free but still you need to pay for, for apartment and for food so you need to show them money that you really have money to to, to live in Norway and uh, and then finally when everything is uh, ready you, you send your documents to this address or this address if you are using courier and uh, like DHL or something else so then you can use uh, either this address to, to send your applications. So I hope that this uh, video tutorial would be helpful for you and uh, and if you really like this video tutorial then you are encouraged to, to subscribe to our newsletter so that you can get this kind of video tutorials automatically by email.